enjoyed the, the discovery of so many subjects. Um, education in, in my home country of Mexico is very different. It's, it's very specific to your major. And here you have all these general education requirements, all these disciplines to explore. So I enjoyed taking courses that maybe weren't related to my major, just exploring the different disciplines, uh, meeting new people and wonderful professors. Hello, my name is Deyanira Morales. I'm a Spanish instructor here at uh, Blue Mountain Community College. Is that okay for the intro? <laughs> Studied my first undergraduate degree in Mexico, and then I started all over and did a second undergraduate degree in the U.S. So I had, in a way, two first terms in college. But they were both challenging. They, they each had their own sets of challenges. It was a scary, uh, hectic, stressful time. Uh, first time, we c you could say, in Mexico was uh, a bit difficult because I, w I started in an evening shift or schedule. So I would study from 5 to 10 p.m., five days a week, maybe with a 10 minute or 15 minute uh, break in between classes, but it was a set schedule. There wasn't much flexibility. And this was after working full time. I would get off at 10 and I couldn't go to the library because it was closed at that time. And this was before the internet. So uh, doing research, I, a lot of all nighters. So it was a, a stressful time. Then my first time in the US uh, also had its own set of challenges. I wasn't living at home anymore. I was living on my own in a way. So I had to find a way to pay for college. I started working part time. Um, and you know, it was still difficult, and especially because it was a new country for me. They both have their own sets of challenges, but being a high school student, everything is decided for you. So you really don't have any uh, say in it. You have a set schedule, especially where I came from in Mexico. I'm not too familiar with the high school system here. But, uh, but you, you have your set of classes, your set of schedule. Uh, you don't have much of, of freedom, really. And in college, you, you're seen as an adult now. So you're responsible for the choices you make. Um, oftentimes, you're not living at home anymore. You have to pay for it uh, on your own. But you do have more choices, which is the beauty of it. You can explore different subjects, uh, different disciplines. And you can also, especially if you're in a community college, you can move your schedule around to suit your needs. Well, I hope their college experience uh, is filled with the joy of discovery, that they uh, find it as a re rewarding, life-changing experience, that they grow as people, that they're, um, they're exposed to new and interesting ideas, and they just grow both as people and professionally as well. Well, I expect them to, if it's an in-person class, to attend regularly because attendance is an important part of the whole learning process. Now, if we're in a remote learning format, I would like them to uh, participate regularly. And probably my second top expectation would be for students to feel comfortable to reach out to me to communicate. Uh, I can understand that, that it can be a challenging time to be a, uh, in college and to be taking a new class. So I would hope and expect and hope that they can reach out to me in a timely manner. So my first job in, ever in Mexico was at an accountant's office. When I was in high school, I was working, I believe it was full, full time, because I wanted to go into accounting and I wanted to see what it was like. So that was my, my first job working as an accountant's assistant. And I did that through a, a large portion of my college career as well. In the U.S., my first job was as a tutor, as a, a student tutor. Uh, and I, I would tutor Spanish and writing, which is a little bit ironic because I, I was very nervous about taking my first English writing class. I had 
learned English from a, an early age, but I, I did it on my own through watching television, listening to the radio. So when I uh, took my first writing class, I was very nervous. I wasn't familiar with writing essays or any of the formats, but I had a wonderful professor who encouraged me, and he later even recommended me to be a writing tutor. So that was my, my first job here in the U.S. My advice to students would be that you're not alone. Uh, we as faculty and, and all of the wonderful people here at the college, all of the, the student services, staff, uh, admissions, uh, the administration are here to support you. So you're not alone and you can be successful too. Just be persistent and don't give up. Bueno, a los estudiantes que, hispanohablantes que, que hablan español de nuestra región, les quiero decir que aquí estamos para ayudarles, que tienen muchas uh, fuentes o formas de ayuda que les podemos dar. Uh, si quieren mandarme un mensaje, llamarme, conocerme, con mucho gusto estoy aquí para ayudarles, para conocerlos, para apoyarlos y que todo lo que es uh, el personal docente, o sea, los, el profesorado, todo lo que es la administración de, de esta universidad o este colegio, está aquí para apoyarlos. Entonces, hay, hay muchas formas de ayuda. Es, aquí son unas personas muy calurosas, pacientes y que están listas para ayudarles.